The river meets the sea and the plains in Gangyong Port. Gangyong has Kum River and open fields in Chungcheong Namdo. It's been famous as a good place to live for a long time. The Gangyong Port was full of ships passing the Kum River in ancient times, but it's kept traces of modern history from about a hundred years ago. So, what kind of place is Gangyong as a modern business city? The former Gangyong branch of Hanil Bank is a red brick one story building, but it looks like a two story one. Its decoration is luxurious, but the iron door is small and thick, specially designed for the bank's security. By changing the name of the bank several times, it remained in existence. Once, it was even used for salted seafood storage. Now, it is Gangyong History Museum, after receiving designation as a registered cultural heritage in 2007. Old things donated by Nonsan and Gangyong people are exhibited here. Donators' names are put on them, and we can meet the trails then of Gangyong people's lives. <笑>あ、<笑> About 100 years ago, economic activity flourished in Gangyong. Another interesting point is the fact that the former Gangyong branch of Hanil Bank was built in Gangyong after Seoul and Busan. Gangyong Port, with 200 boats coming in and out every day, was a thriving business city, thanks to its geographical location. So the former Hanil Bank was built in Gangyong, after Seoul and Busan, with the aim of trying to attract the funds of businessmen. There's further modern architecture that shows the modern city of Gangyong in Jungangri, Gangyongu. 일제 강점기 일본 상인들이 들어오기 시작하면서 인구가 늘어났고 강경에는 이 같은 근대 건축물들이 여럿 들어서게 됩니다. The former Yonsudang Herbal Medicine Pharmacy provides an insight into the 1920s varied modern Korean style of architecture. It's a wooden structure in a Korean style of building, but mixed with the Japanese housing style. It looks straight at the front, but the kyuk from above shows two rooms at the first floor and three rooms on the second. Each room is small and under five pyong. 이곳은 그 원래 강경이 그 아래 장터였습니다. 
음, 그래서 윗장터가 있고 아래장터가 있는데 어, 윗장터는 소장수라든지 뭐 이런 쪽이 많고요. 이쪽은 비단집이나 어, 이런 게 많았고 한약방이 상당히 많이 있었습니다. 지금도 그 흔적은 있는데 수성, 수성당이나 재생당이나 이런 건 있는데 옛날 건물이 남아있는 거는 연수당 뿐입니다. Products at Gangyong Market were varied. Rice and grain were supplied to all parts of the country, from Seoul to Jeju Island. Salt and seafood from the west coast, the handicrafts of Jolado, and even dried pollock from Wonsan, Hamgyongdo, came into Gangyong Port and were sold in Gangyong Market. Depending on the development of the city, modern education facilities were built. Gangyong Commercial High School was established in 1920, and as a secondary institution, it was the first in this area. The official residence of the principal was a wooden house. It remains standing even now. Gangyong Jungang Elementary School is the first modern education facility to have been built in gangyong -up. The hall was built in 1937 and is still well preserved. 강정기 때 시설 중에서도 사실은 조금 돈이 많이 들어가야 되는 벽돌조 건축 같은 것들이 강정에 많이 남아 있는데 그 중에서 중앙초등학교의 강당 건물이라든지 또는 시내에 보면 곳곳에 붉은 벽돌로 지어진 건물들이 많이 남아 있습니다. 전통적인 우리의 도시가 일제 강점기를 거치면서 어떻게 오늘날까지 남아 있는지를 잘 보여주는 도시라고 할 수가 있습니다. Gangyong developed as a modern business city. Not only did its architecture change, but the citizens also grew with that modernization, step by step, during the period of Japanese occupation. The Korea labor movement started in the mid-1920s, but the labor union was formed in Gangyong already by the mid-1910s. The amount of products supplied to all parts of the country was as plentiful as the number of workers doing the loading and uploading work in Gangyong Port. And the members of the labor union were up to 780 people, and it was powerful. The people the this building that was used as an office for the labor union in the modern business city of Gangyong shows the value of labor history and the rise and fall of the modern market near the Gangyong area. Gangyong Chinese Korean School and House also show the business area in Gangyong from the 1920s. Pictures of the father of China, Sun Yat-sen and Sun Wen, are hung on the wall, and we can realize this place is a Chinese school. Even though Gangyong was not a big city like Seoul or Incheon, Gangyong Chinese Korean School and House were built there. It means that Gangyong was a center of the region, with the largest number of foreigners in Chungcheong Namdo in those days. There were about 300 Chinese people living in Gangyong, about 60 students at Gangyong Chinese Korean School. and this school and house were rebuilt in 1956. The 
slide of the playground just still remains, reminding us that nothing is permanent in life. Honam Railroad Line, Gunsan Line, and Changhang Line opened one by one. The area switched from ship to trains as major transportation options. Gangyong Port slowed down, and the prosperous modern business city from a hundred years ago had disappeared. Although a once prosperous port and markets from about a hundred years ago ended up deteriorating and ships stopped operating there, a part of modern history still revolves around the port of Gangyong. It may not be fancy, but Gangyong is where you can feel the depth of history. And it also forms an important chapter of Korea's modern story.